Hi folks, Speedway Tag here with a, a quick um, video of a, of a game that I just got my hands on today from Looney Labs. Um, it's an old game from uh, around 2015 called Just Desserts. And I'm always after quick and simple, um, but a little bit strategic and deeper than usual um, set collection games that you can pull out of the table or at a a uh, family function or a party or something very quickly and easy to teach and you know set collections very easy to um, pick up quickly and start playing and I, I'm, I'm always I'm forever getting games like this some of them work some of them don't this one works pretty well so this is just desserts um, just very quickly have a look at the artwork on on these cards there it's it's cartoony but it's really really nice You've got um, each person is dealt three cards to start. Now, we're in the middle of the game here at the moment, so there's no hand limit. That's why that person's got five cards, but fruit salad and, um, and what's that? That's ambrosia salad and peanut butter cups and <laughs> pecan pie and, and all of that, coconut custard pie. Um, my hand down here. Like I said, you normally start with three cards, but you you gain a lot more as the, as the game goes on because there's no hand limit chocolate chip cookies and candy bars and gingerbread dudes apple pie and cinnamon rolls and in them and there's a deck of all of those and a discard pile okay and then in the middle of the table you've got your guests so you're at a at a dessert bar and your waiters and you're serving and the person who wins is the person who um, serves the most guests or gets the right combination of guests satisfied and these are the guests again really great artwork the hermit candace the emperor uh, granny roland uh, mrs jenkins and the, and there's 24 guests here in that deck and there's a um a discard pile for that as well very simply the game plays um you at the start of your turn you you draw one of those cards for free and you'll also add a guest to the middle of the table there are six suits of guests the the colors um, denote the suits and also the little icons there at the bottom of each guest denotes the suits okay and what you're and each guest has a requirement uh, so the hermit likes any kind of dessert that's got chocolate pastry and pudding Candace likes desserts that have got marshmallows and vegetables in them. Oof, vegetables. But she won't have chocolate because she's a bit sporty and travelly and moves around a lot. The Emperor loves desserts with chocolate and... What's that one? That's cake, but won't touch anything with um, fruit and vegetables in it. And so on. So each of them have got their preferences. And each of them also has a favorite, okay? The hermit's favorite there, as you can see, is a chocolate eclair. So there is a dessert card in that deck that is the chocolate eclair, which will be perfect for the hermit. Um, and Candace likes candied yams. Um, the emperor's got two favorites, devil's food cupcakes or chocolate angel food cake. Uh, and um, Mrs. Jenkins likes zucchini nut bread, Roland likes cinnamon roll, and so on. So you use your cards in your hands, which have got these, um, those same icons on them in the top left corner. And you, 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 you um, just put those icons together and hand the cards into the discard pile over here, and you claim the guests. So if I've got cards that um uh, let's see if i've got cards that can that's got a, a chocolate pastry and um pudding and they don't have to all be on the same card they can be from different cards so that it might take four cards for me to hand in to claim the hermit but that's what i i can't do that at the moment because i don't have a none of my cards has got pudding at the top of it um maybe granny okay granny wants um an ap apple's she likes pie and ice cream and look at that i've got uh, a card here with apples pies and ice cream in fact that would mean that the apple pie would be granny's favorite and indeed it is but i i didn't have to get those icons on the one card i could have got them from 
from multiple cards. They didn't have to all come from the same card. Uh, Roland wants um, like spices and pastries, but no apples. So I can get my Roland spices from the gingerbread card there, and I can get his pastries from the cinnamon roll there. So I would just take those, for example, I take, if I wanted Roland, I take those two cards, which satisfies his requirements, put them in the discard pile there and take Roland and put him in my claimed guests. And you just keep going back and forth like that. If you manage to get three guests of the same suit, I've got two already, you'll win. Or if you get five from different suits, you win. And that's basically just deserves. But at the end of your turn, um, so on your turn, you can do one of three things, okay? You can, you're can you able to set, set, serve up to two guests. So take two of those cards if you can fulfill the requirements with your cards here. Uh, you can uh, just take another free card or you can discard whatever you want from here and draw those same number of cards back up. At the end of your turn, like I just served Roland, if I might be able to also serve another one of these. Oh, I, yes, I am able to serve Granny as well. So I'll, I'll discard Granny's favorite. If I discard Granny's favorite to serve her, I get a free card, like a tip, because I've managed, I've managed to um, give someone their favorite. At the end of my turn, if there's any two guests, two or more guests with the same suit, I have to discard until there's only one of them. So that, that makes it quite uh, strategic. This is where the strategy and the little bit of um, worrying about what your opponent is doing comes into play. For example, if there was a, uh, let's see, if there was another purple there at the end of my turn, right? I, I can't have both purples and both yellows still there. I'd have to discard so that there's only one purple and one yellow. And so what you discard really matters because it that's going to affect what your opponent is Go, uh, is able to get so it, it, it pays to to watch what your opponent is collecting before you discard so I might get rid of that and the hermit and here's an interesting little um, take on the game as well that the top card in the discard pile of guests is also a guest that you can serve the idea is that they're standing at the door right of the restaurant so he's still able to be served so who you leave on the top there is also quite strategic but this is fun. As you can probably tell, it's, it's, it's not rocket science, this game. It's not super thinky, but it is easy to teach. And it is, you know, it, 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 there is a little bit of, of push and pull and strategy and, and, of course, set collection, which is why I got this game in the first place. So give this one a try. I, you can still get it. Obviously, I got it off the, um, off the, the publisher's website um, just recently. And, you know, it's a 2015 game, but it's still out there. So if you like set collection, if you like something that you can teach really quickly, if you like desserts and really nice artwork and that sort of fun of, of satisfying certain requirements with your cards, with your various icons, um, check this one out if you can. Okay, see you later.